guys, what's better than an industrial farmhouse table? An industrial farmhouse bench to match it. That's right, we just built the farmhouse table for our friend Rachel, and we're gonna build her a beautiful bench to match it. She's a lucky lady. She, we need friends like us. I like that, that's cute. And if we can put straps right here if we need to. All right. Right now we're looking at the plans that we're gonna use to build this bench. They're on our website, you can go download them now. It's the same plans that we're using to build this today. Here's all we need to build our industrial farmhouse bench. We've got three two by sixes, three two by fours, and two one by fours. We're using our table saw, our miter saw, our drill, the Craig jig, and a sander. Don't forget the screws and some decorative hardware, and you've got a bench. Step one, guys, we are gonna rip down these boards. It's one of our favorite things to do. Typically when you buy the two by sixes or two by fours, they have those rounded edges. We like to run them through our table saw to give a smooth, straight edge. And it makes it look like you're not building with framing lumber, which we are, but it makes it look more expensive. Nobody will ever know. After we've ripped all of our boards down, we're gonna cut those down to size with our miter saw. Once we make the cuts, we're gonna drill all the pocket holes. Bada bing, bada pocket I hole. I figured it would. <laughs> Only I'm gonna think that's funny. <laughs> Cuts made, pocket holes made, now we're building that top. We are going to attach our plank with two and a half inch pocket hole screws through those pocket holes that we made. Then we'll add our breadboard. Okay, Ash, what's next? Now we've got to build the frame for the bench. So let's move this out of the way. Okay. And start on the frame. Okay, out of the way. Now we're gonna build both legs to the bench. Mm -hmm. These are super simple. Just attach the little runners between each of the long leg pieces with two and a half inch pocket screws and wood glue. Okay guys, now we've got both of the legs to our bench done and we're gonna attach our aprons. And guys, while she's doing that, click below to subscribe. You do not wanna miss Ashley attaching more of these pocket holes. Getting jiggy with it. After we build those two legs, we'll attach them with two long aprons. We're gonna use two and a half inch pocket hole screws again through those aprons and into the legs. Use wood glue, don't forget it. Now that the aprons are attached to the legs, it's time to add those runners on the bottom. Now we're gonna add the longer runner and that's gonna go under that first runner we just did. So just add wood glue, clamp them together and attach it using one and a quarter inch spat screws through the bottom of that first runner and into the second runner. Now that the frame's done, we're going to attach it to the top of the bench. One and a quarter, one and a quarter. And we're gonna do that with two inch back screws from the frame into the bottom of the plank top. So once we've got that done, we flip it over. Check it out. Make sure it works. Not too shanty. I like it. <laughs> we gotta get some stain on this, some hardware on it, and get back to Rachel's. Yep, she's gonna have a beautiful bench. It's gonna match that dining table that we built her. Let's get going, come on. Add some stain, add some hardware, and bam. Beautiful industrial farmhouse bench that we built for about $35. Because we are awesome friends like that. Wanna build all the pieces in this house crash? Stay tuned, we're releasing a new build every week this month. You're not gonna wanna miss it.